Hello and welcome to the ultimate papayas and tombow smackdown of 2023. In this episode, we'll be combining all of the papayas and adding a tombow, trapping them in a house and seeing what happens. <laughs> to spice up the drama, I have also installed a violence mod uh, that allows random terrible things to happen, but I have turned a lot of them off because they were terrible or didn't work as I wanted them to. I spent a lot of time redoing this again and again because it wasn't working how it was supposed to work. <laughs> so I had to turn off a bunch of the added violence mod stuff, but you'll see the thing I kept in. Please ignore that we start three minutes in. Uh, it's because I forgot to age up one of the papayas and I accidentally went with them to school and it was just a long three minutes of a loading screen going back and forth, so I've cut that out. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I remember that a lot of challenges exist, and I add in uh, a mean vibe, cursed, filthy, groddy, a quake zone, volcanic activity, and spooky traits. So it basically gives them a lot of debuffs, and sometimes random events happen from it. Oh, and we also have some cow plants over there that, if you don't know what they do, they can eat you and could kill you. Uh, here, you'll see it 11 minutes in. Tombo decides to have a small walk outside, and uh, it's got, that's right, uh, yeah, he got ran over by a taxi. It, it can go through walls and fences, don't worry about it. <laughs> that would be the violence mod. So unfortunately, Tombo is out of the running. And we're back at 15 minutes to papaya number four, unfortunately, taking the same fate as Tombo and in the same place, and got got. They got got. And then something weird happens. So Death hangs out for a bit and goes to talk to Papaya number three. They have a short exchange. He gets changed. And for some reason, kills Papaya number three, and I have no idea why. It didn't come up in my little notification center. He just... He, I don't know whether he pissed death off, but he's gone now, so that was strange to come back to. Oh, watch out. Oh, no. How did Papaya number five not see that taxi? They're out. <laughs> out for the count. 24 minutes in. So our final female Papaya has a shower, sees Papaya number two dancing, gets so pissed and has a cardiac explosion and death's here now to take her away but not before having a little spin gotta have a little spin or you do some grim reapering so that means we are left with papaya number two and papaya number six Oh, and whilst I tab out to see how Papaya number one died, I see that Papaya number two has got a notification that they're going to die from old age soon. So I check in, in my mod to see how many days they have left. They have three days. Will Papaya number six outlive him? Let's find out. 20 minutes later. And then finally, Papaya number six walks out just where the taxi will get him. And he's got a got. Which means papaya number two is victorious. And how long does he have left to live? He has zero days. Today is his final day. <laughs> so I follow him around. He's mostly having a bad time, in a bad mood. Everything's a mess. Everything's broken and stinky. He gets thrown up by a cow plant. He goes to have some food. Gets a call from Francine Spencer. And that's it. That sent him over the edge. He dies. Rest in peace, Papaya number two. But congratulations, you won. Uh, you, you won. I'm proud of you. Beep, beep. In the previous attempt, 
After 1 hour and 38 minutes Papaya No. 2 decided to be the twisted fire starter and set literally everyone but Papaya No. 4 on fire. Let me just take some notes on how to beat fire. Stand back a bit. Okay got it. I literally couldn't kill them. They were simply too smart. I had them jump in the piranha pool so many times. So I guess, yes they did win. Happy birthday bye.